Well, hello and welcome. In this presentation, I will be looking at the classification of data. It will be the first of a number of videos looking into statistics. Now, generally data can be classified as being either quantitative, or if you prefer numerical, or data that's associated with numbers, or qualitative, which is non-numerical data or data associated with words or categories. Now, quantitative data or numerical data can be considered to be either discrete, where we consider it data with just whole numbers, or continuous where our data can be in any value or considered to be any value in a range. Now our non-numerical data can be either ordinal, which is data which has a sense of order. You can see the word order in ordinal or categorical where our data has no sense of order. Now to scroll up a little bit, just some examples of data which is discrete. You know, and normally when I ask myself, can I count this, the data is discrete. So for instance, the number of cars or the number of children or the number of meat pies that you can eat. They are all examples of discrete data or data which is whole numbers. Continuous data is basically data which I measure. Now you would typically measure temperature because it would be within a certain range. You'd measure the time to run a hundred meters. So continuous data, you can think of it, would have decimal points and the like. Now the ordinal data examples of ordinal data might be, you know, I prefer to have, well, what sort of temperature do I prefer my shower to be? Is it hot, warm, or cold? Now, these, this here is our data, hot, warm, and cold, but there is a sense of order there. And the final one, the categorical data, where there's no sense of order, might ask a question about what is your favorite color, or what is your favorite food? Now, just as the classification of data sometimes can be tricky. Now, what you should always do is, when you're given some data, is ask yourself the question, is it appropriate or can I calculate the median of this particular data value? If the answer is yes, then your data is number based and you'll be going down either these two columns. So your data will be discrete or continuous. If the answer to this question is no, just a couple of examples here. If I was looking at postcode, I would ask myself the question, is it appropriate to calculate the median of, the, of this particular value? So. Does it make sense to have the median of a postcode? Well, the answer is no. So we would say that postcodes would be qualitative and in, in effect, they would be categorical. Account, bank account balance. Now, that's basically how much money I have in the bank. And if I had a number of accounts, then yes, it would make sense because I would be able to work out the median of all the values, the amount of money that I have in the bank. So yes, this would be a number value, or if you prefer, it would be either discrete if you're considering whole dollars, well actually, or it would just be discrete because you'd have either whole dollars or dollars and cents. And bank account numbers, if you just think about that, a bank account number is just a number 
which identifies your bank account. It doesn't make sense. You can't create a mean of those particular values. So again, that would be qualitative or categorical. Just a word of warning, some of these names actually change as we move to VCE. So we have names such as numerical, categorical and nominal and I'll just show you how these can will actually change in further years. That will slide out and numerical would be used for here. This one here will slide out and categorical is in here and categorical will slide out here and nominal will be over here. So what I had originally would be for years 9 and 10 to be consistent with your textbook and when you get to years 11 and 12 this would be how data would be classified. Now I'm just going to go to the next slide and we'll look at a couple of examples. So now looking at the color of a pencil. Now that's certainly not associated with a number so this here would be in our situation categorical. So I'll just write cat short for categorical. Now the volume of music it's certainly not associated with a number and you'll notice here this ordering of low, medium and high. So this here would be, I'll just go back and just double check, this here is ordinal because it has a sense of order. So here we go here, ordinal. Uh, the temperature of a hot pie, well certainly we measure temperature, so we could say that this here would be continuous Again, it's number because we met at, because it's temperature is a number and continuous because it's something we'll measure. Now, number of teeth, this is a number again, but it's what we count, so that will be discrete. Okay. Speed of a car, again, it's something that is measured. So, continuous. And the marks in a maths exam, well, you'd normally have. We'll consider a maths exam where you get a percentage or something along those lines. And that would be a number. And it's something that you would count. So you might get, for instance, get 99 out of 100. So that would be a discrete value. So where it gets tricky, you might have like an A, B, C, D as your mark and then that all of a sudden may become ordinal but if we just assume a whole number then that will be discrete. So there are some examples. So I'll just go back. So until next time, good maths and bye for now.